Hi guys, this is Todd with Survival Sherpa. Today I wanted to demonstrate a flip-flop winch, which I first saw demonstrated and uh, performed by uh, Mr. Morris Kohansky. And um, it is a very powerful, simple machine that uses leverage that can be used to uh, pull vehicles out of mud. Uh, for example, I've got my truck down there and it's not actually stuck, but it's, it's in neutral. Um, and we're going to pull that thing, and it's 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 going to be. It, I mean, it's it's a heavy little truck. It may look small, but it's a heavy little truck. Um, four wheels. I mean, uh, four wheelers, snowmobiles, any other any other kind of equipment. Uh, if you had to move a, a big heavy log or a rock or something like that, this kind of simple machine will come in handy. So, so all we're doing here is we've got two logs. This one, they're about eight foot long. We've got a, we're just going to make a simple loop of, with this rope. This is going, this side right here is going to the anchor point, which is a sourwood tree up in the uh, edge of the woods. So we're just going to take a loop and we're going to go under like this so that we've got a, a loop of line right here. And this other, this other piece will be on top. Okay, so we've got a loop of line here. We're going to take, this is going to be our barrel, our barrel pole, which will actually have the windings of the rope on it as we turn the, turn the flip-flop winch on. And this is the lever pole. It's the cedar pole. This is just pine. Uh, both are dead standing. And um, it goes through there just like that. And then we just simply tighten, tighten up this rope coming from our anchor point. We can just pull that around tight there, pull that back tight there, and now we're ready to start turning our our winch. Okay? Now, I'm going to go back over here. This leading to my truck, to my vehicle, is not tied off yet. Let's go tie that off right here. Alright, so, I've just run it through a uh, one of the holes in the bumper, and um, we're just going to do a little constrictor knot here. So we got about three, three or four wraps in there. On this next one, we're just going to come back through this loop there. Now, this knot right here will hold on what we want to do. Okay? So it's always a good idea to have some kind of cordage, uh, heavy towing strap or something that uh, can be used if you've ever, uh, ever out in the woods got stuck or a car in a ditch, this kind of stuff. Uh, with, this, with this simple machine, the flip-flop winch will help you get out of a out of a bind. Okay. When pulling a real heavy machine uh, vehicle or whatever, um, I found that it's very helpful to put a. You, it, it'll make a little more sense in a minute once we get to turn it. But put a stake in the ground here, in line with the with the drum pole, um, and a stake on the ground on the other side where the drum pole will, will land. Alright, so we've got this thing set up right now. We're going to uh, begin turning this pole, the lever pole, over and then we'll flip this barrel pole We'll flop it over to the other side, okay? Alright, go. Move you in a little closer here. Okay, so what we've got now with one turn, you might want to, since you still got a little slack in the line, make sure that you get these 
these uh, these loops in a relatively straight fashion if you can. Now, with one turn of the lever pole, we're going to flip flop and we're going to flop this barrel pole over. Now, we'll do this again. Our lever pole, I'm just going to bring it over. There. Now, as you can see, this thing's beginning to wind itself around this barrel pole. This pole here is just a dead piece of pine. It is, uh, it's not, it doesn't have to be very, I mean, it needs to be, shouldn't be punk wood, but it, it doesn't have to be real sturdy. Um, this pole, the lever pole, is the one that you want to be good and solid. Okay, so we, we just flip the lever pole. We're going to flip this flip-flop, the barrel pole, back over. Now, you can see that this, once tension gets built up on this line, this, this stake in the ground will keep this barrel pole from flipping back towards the truck or the vehicle, okay? So, let's twist again here. Now, I'm gonna show you something that, right here on this line, that I've done. Now it's a good idea to put some kind of uh, string or something to hold this because once tension gets on this, um, this thing has a tendency to pop back up or fly off to the side a little bit. So all I did here was just took a piece of paracord and um, just tied a, uh, a prussic loop on here so I can slide this thing up and down. I've got one on the other end of this of this tow line as well, okay? So just going to tie a prussic loop on here. So that I can slide this with my... Of course, it's not, not enough tension to need to warrant that yet, but uh, just so you know. That's what that for. That's what that's for. Okay, I'm gonna mark it with this saw on the ground just to give us a reference as to how, how far we've pulled the truck. Okay, here's the tire of the truck, and I've got it right at the back, and we've only got two wraps on it. We're gonna wrap some more and just see how far that goes. of this hole here it's getting some tension on it we're not ready for uh, to tie it off on those loops yet All right the next one I'm going to put my loop on here just in case now, there's inherent danger using a rope. Um, that's all you've got. Um, you want something that uh, is strong enough to do the job. But uh, there's, there's a lot of tension on this rope. If it snaps, um, you know, it, it, it could really do some damage to you. So, uh, but in an emergency situation, uh, you've got to use the rope that you've got. Um, so I would recommend that you take precautions uh, listen to your gut, okay? All right, so we're going to flip this again.
or the saw right there it just moved must have been on a little hill that uh, caught a little gravity and Okay, for demonstration purposes, I think this will work. The truck is free. With only six turns, we freed our truck from the uh, from the hole that the front tire was in. Okay. Okay, so if we want to unwind this, we're just going to reverse what we did. Okay. So guys, this is um, just a good tool to, to have in your toolkit, and um, with rope and a cutting tool, um, find you two logs uh, that would that will do the job, and um, you can unstick a truck, uh, get it unstuck, pull things off of uh, whatever you've got that you need pulled or winched. This thing will work. Okay. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching, and um, until next time, keep doing the stuff for self-reliance. Take care.